when I went and talked to Blackfy and I and I beat up on them that why don't you fly this thing that's been flying for ten years? What uh, my God! I want to see it fly. And he said, oh, it's real quiet. And I said, well, let's fly it, and I'll tell you if it's quiet. I am trusting your honesty. And frankly, I have every reason to trust it. I don't think that guy is lying to me when he says he's worked on it that long and that this configuration has flown the equivalent of twice around the world. Uh, I, I, I wasn't aware that almost all of that is unmanned, but still, it's 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 a full-scale airplane that could have a man in it. But um, it was here last year, looking the same. And so I thought, well, my gosh, something like that, especially with Google investing money into it now, there's going to be some big progress, and it's going to be doing flights at the uh, at the uh, air show time. And I even encouraged uh, Ben Deitch, and he used to be uh, my uh, engineering supervisor. And after I retired, he was president of Scaled, and now he's he's got an executive position at Blackfly. And I I told him the way that he needs to uh, market this at Oshkosh. I says you're the only one of these little electric VTOLs that looks to me as mature. Uh, when I say mature, all the testing and so on. You've demonstrated that you can lose an engine and it doesn't go into a pinwheel. You know, these kind of things are, are first of all, it's a very clever design. They don't have to tilt anything to make it hover and to make it go. That's, that's really clever. Uh, and I says, what you ought to do is you got to go out here and find a farmer's um, a farm, you know, six or eight miles away, and talk the farmer into letting you operate it out of there for the week of Oshkosh. And you ought to have breakfast with him. There's farmer's breakfast food's pretty good, right? And then go out and get in the black fly, and every day in the morning fly it to Oshkosh and land it right there in the grass next to the other airplanes because it's safe to do so, right? It'll fit in a, in, a, in a double car parking space. And if you have to land, just be on the crowd line and then put it inside. Totally safe thing to do. And, and then at the end of the day, have somebody get in it and fly it back to the farm. Now, I said to Ben, that is the, the very best way to show the public that this is a um, this airplane has maturity and it has utility and that you are so far ahead of these other hundred companies trying to do this that they don't they they they're it's not even a close second place and I said do that so I come to Oshkosh and I said well Ben did you do that and he says no I'm not going to tell you that whole discussion because maybe they don't want uh, the viewers of this video to know what they told me. But I'll tell you the bottom line is they assured me that, it, that it's totally safe to do that, but for reasons that they have on their staff, people charged with uh, uh, safety have advised them to not do that. Now, I didn't do that in my company. Everybody on my staff was charged with safety. 